Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's 4.30. Time to get milk and some cows. It's a busy morning. Today, it's milk sampling day. Last night, Chris and I got all the samplers hooked up in the parlor, so they're ready to go. And we've got all of our vials here. And we'll be taking an individual milk sample from every cow this morning. What we're looking for is a somatic cell count of each cow. It's part of our herd management is to keep our cell count as low as possible. So we'll take a little vial of milk, ship it off to the lab, get a report back tomorrow or the next day, and then we'll know. Let's get after it. Yeah, you can see here as the milk goes through the milk meter, every time when it weighs, there's a little scale in there, it plunges the milk down. When it does that, a little bit runs into the sampler jar here. So there's gonna be a lot more milk in there than we actually need for our little sample vial. We only need, I don't know, 50 mils for our sample. And there's probably gonna be close to a liter in there. So what we'll do is Chris had some pails underneath the curb here. And then extra milk will get dumped into those pails and then uh, we'll use that milk to feed calves today. They're all filling up. Turn the little valve off. Put the back into the sampler. Screw it. back on. So sampling days are a little bit slower milking obviously because Chris and I is focusing on taking samples and I do the milking. 
normally we milk together so then you know one person can prep uh, one person can wipe another person can attach we kind of have a bit of a, a flow going so it's a little bit awkward on these days because the crap the power seems to be way smaller these days because you have to have all these doors open right? you have to have access to that so these are open so i quite often get that jabbed in my belly while i'm <laughs> putting machines on but this is something we have to do so it's only one month only one milking a month so it's not too big of a pain in the butt so what you may also notice if you watch some of our other videos where we're milking there's something different in the parlor what's different new liners we're trying out some new silicone liners the theory behind us going to silicone is silicone is supposed to last a lot longer than the rubber liners we have been using so liner changing day is never a fun day here i don't like doing it these old D Laval Harmony claws are a bit of a pain in the butt to change the liners in. So this way we can go to one liner change a year versus three or four liner changes a year. So these ones definitely cost more money per liner, but with less changes, we actually should be ahead a few dollars as well. And yeah, they kind of make the par look a little different. These bright yellow liners in here. We've had them in now for just about two weeks and yeah so far really good they're milking out well they uh they don't quite pinch off on the claws as well as their old ones so we're kind of having to learn to hold the claws a little differently when we're putting them on but they do sit nice on the cow we had a few cows that were a bit of our chronic squeakers and that's that's taken care of them those are gone away uh -huh. pretty cool looking liners this cow is a rock star right now she's cranking out the highest milk of the barn 34.9 liters and still going. Currently the herd's averaging just a tick shy of 40 liters of cow, which for us is very, very good. Comment below if you was a guess to how high she got today. there. This is the side where we've got the filled samples. And you can kind of see the empty bottles in there. So we're getting there. 92 cows on test. Okay, we're empty. Time for more cows. We'll go get us some. There, the ones we've already milked, and they're all nicely locked up in the head gates this morning. Thursday mornings are off sync morning, so off sync is a synchronization, uh, synchronization program. Put the cows on to bring them into heat to get them bred. So this morning, number 840 and 4698 are getting bred. Morning, girl, milking time. Look at that sun. Beauty. All right, ladies. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Time to go. Come on, girls. Come on, girls, let's go. Come on, slow poke. Let's go. So 
one of my favorite sights in the morning. Just bringing the cows in, and getting up in behind the cows here and seeing those full udders. Beautiful thing. Come on, ladies. Come on. Come on, girl. She got a beautiful udder little heifer there. That's a gorgeous little udder. <coughs> Leak and milk. He's full. Well, let's go then. Let's get milked. There we go. That's a pretty fierce competition for top producer in the barn. Good job, girl. 35.9 liters. That's, uh, that's a lot of milk, folks. Okay? Until next time, girls. Which will be in 12 hours. <clears throat> One problem we have every time we test is the very last spot here. Whenever we hook the sampler up to that meter, it does not record the milk weights. So we have to put this last cow on manual every time. So right now she's on manual. She is done. I'll take her off. It's only when we sample that happens. It's a little bit annoying. We've looked into it a little bit, can't quite figure out what it is, but it's only one milking a month. We're not going to invest too much time and money to fix that problem. All right, girls. Get on out of here. The group we've been looking for all morning. The last group. Come on, ladies. Let's go. In you get. Come on, milking time. Man, it's so funny. The cows come in in whatever order they want. They could get milk first, middle, last. It's all their choosing. And it's always the same bunch of cows at the end every day. Every day, a number three, and every day. Come on, girls, in you get. all the samples in there. I'm gonna head in, get the calves fed, and then I gotta run to the house and get the kids on the bus. Come back out later and I will transcribe a master list so we know which barcode number goes with which cow. So yeah, it's been a pretty hectic morning. Milk sampling morning is always very busy because it just takes longer because we're doing an extra step during milking. So now we're about a half hour behind the schedule and I got cows to breed and cows to feed and samples to take to Winnipeg. But uh, no big deal, we'll get it done. So yeah, why are we taking these samples again? It's all about milk quality. Milk quality is what we're after here. So we test this milk for the somatic cell count. That is the bacteria level of the cow herself. This is testing the cow, and it's kind of a scale of how healthy our cows are, um, how well our system is working, uh, if our management is any tweaking. You know, we run a bedding pack barn, which can be, in some cases, a bit of an issue for somatic cell count. So far here, it hasn't been. And uh, we take milk quality pretty damn seriously around here. I mean, all farmers do, but uh, I know for us, it's something that we strive for. We want the best quality milk possible. Uh, my family drinks this milk. You guys drink this milk. I want the best quality milk for all of us. And in general, you won't find a dairy farmer out there who say that milk quality isn't a priority. We want the best quality milk possible. Pass on to the processors. Good quality milk makes good quality products. The better quality milk I can ship to New Bothwell, 
the better cheese they can make. It's just all a big circle. So quality is what it's all about. And just to show a little bit of our quality and where we've been at, I got these in the mail a couple weeks ago. So this is our very first year that we were milking. We had a 7,000 IBC count. And IBC is the internal bacteria count. So that's the bacteria count of your system, uh, your bulk tanks, your pipelines, your milking machines. And we had a cell count of 142,000. So we got a gold certificate milk quality for our first year. This ranked us 19th best herd in the province. And the next year, our IBC was a little higher at 8,000, but a little lower cell count at 132. This actually puts it 24th. So everyone did a lot better job in the province this year. So yeah, not trying to brag or boast, but it's something I'm pretty damn proud of. To be 19th out of the province in our very first year milking cows here, and 24th the second, that ranks us in the top 10% of dairy herds in Manitoba. Uh, what dairy farms in Manitoba do every year is they hand out at their AGM the top 10 herds in the province. So my fellow Manitoba YouTuber, the Northern Dairyman, Luke, their farm, Rosh Holsteins, has won that award. They've been in the top 10 multiple times. Luke, I'm coming for you, buddy. We're 19th, 24th, you know, that top 10%. We're coming for you. Look out behind you. I'm coming for you, Luke. That's awesome, though. Those guys that have that top quality milk. And our buddy of mine, Albert Gorder, they have some smoking good milk quality. It is, uh, it's very impressive to see. So yeah, and every tank load of milk that heads out of here will get tested. Um, you know, we get every pickup, we'll get the smag cell count of the entire herd, the IBC, the butter fats, the proteins, all that stuff on a daily. So that's why I track every day that comes in if I see any little glitches. But what we're doing today is just a way to test each individual cow. And that way we can make some management choices on a few cows that maybe, well, their cell count's a little higher than we want to see. Maybe it's time to go to hamburger land. Um, you know, a few higher, higher sound cow cows, we can divert that milk out, use that milk to feed the calves instead. So, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. It's a real busy morning. I got lots of work to do yet, but thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, join along for more fun, and we'll see you next time.